Hey there, Dalf here, and in this video I um, will explain to you how to level quickly slash easily through Warlords of Draenor content when you're leveling up a character. Um, good example is maybe my Hunter, I will quickly introduce him. I made uh, level uh, Hunter just for the transmog basically, the idea that I have the nice helmet, bit of a Golden Emperor style. Uh, this is uh, the bow I find especially nice, not too extreme in size. And this uh, Anadi's twirling longbow, that's a rare world drop with a unique look. So that looks really nice. Yeah, golden and uh, cheetah pet and battle pet and uh, called my pet cancel form. I'm a little bit of an insider, so hinting that this is a druid who is stuck in the travel form. <laughs> it's a hunter pet. Okay, but yeah. Um, so what I did, I did it with several characters. Um, you let, um, do the intro quest line up to the point where you got a garrison. You don't necessarily need level two. You just need a little bit of garrison resources. So even in a level one garrison, you got the quartermaster standing around somewhere. And um, <coughs> the quartermaster sells this access portion of accelerated learning. So experience gained from killing monsters, completing quests, also generally everything increased by 20% and lasts one hour up to level 99. So uh, you get these and uh, use them wisely because in the beginning your re garrison resources might be scarce, but oh, that's no problem. Use a, so what I did then, um, here's what you can do. Um, upgrading your earlobes is very expensive. So if you are on the budget, what you're doing is, uh, let me see, priest. You only upgrade, if you're on a budget really, you only upgrade one heirloom set. And of course, what offers itself is the cloth set um, because every class can wear it. So basically here, this is at 100. So all I, um, I was wearing in cloth on my hunter I also had on an alt I was able to create, uh, to manufacture a gun. So the gun was really high level and that compensated. And the only thing you don't have is the int, the main stat int, but you got secondary stats that are all right too. So, you know, and with leveling up, not end game content, um, my damage in, in dungeon finder was okay. So um, on my hunter, it was because hunter easy class, you know, damage dealer. So there I actually also did dungeon finder when the queue popped. On other classes, not so much, like my rogue, I did not use dungeon finder, but it's your choice, you know, how combat ready you feel you are. Um, don't quest in the world because uh, you will be handicapped there. Yeah, so I basically was full heirloom up to level 100. And then I got the potion, so I got plus 20% experience. You can also get the plus 10% if Dark Moon Fair is up, but be aware that traveling to the Dark Moon Fair just to get plus 10% experience for one hour, it's not worth it. You know, the time it takes to travel there, you'll waste that. So, yeah. And then ideally get handy notes, so you have the Warlords of Drain or treasures shown on the map. Um, like this here and then what you do these tre um, basically you level up with treasure opening so you got a probably a handicapped uh, stats due to the non-ideal um, uh, gear so on my rogue for example that would have been frustrating um, so I did nothing but fly around and of course if you don't have flying in Draenor this will not be feasible um, so this is for alts. I was flying around and opening treasures. And the treasures count as experience if, if you had killed a mob. It does, that This also means, this is perfect if you got several alts that you're not playing often and they accumulate rest the XP. If you're really determined, like on my Hunter I was rushing through, you don't need it, but it's really nice. So you got rested XP and that will uh, give you twice as much experience opening every treasure. So rule of thumb, you are full heirloom and you open one chest in Warlords of Draenor, you get 3% to the next level. If you've got rested XP, that will be 6%. 
considering it with the potion for heirloom and the potion and naturally don't fight mobs here that drop something so only the treasures that you actually open like a chest or something and then you get xp each time you do that and you know it's nice to see you fly there and open this and you get six percent to the next level and the next one another six percent that is really quick and um Many of the treasures also contain garrison resources. So if you start this early uh, and got only enough resources for one potion, you will get more and you will have enough for another potion or two uh, after that. So you start in this zone, try to roughly match it to your level. So I am a Frostfire Witch and then I went to Gorgron, you know the tip in Talador, and then Spires of Arak and um, at that point I was already so high level that Shadow Moon Valley was green here and don't open uh, treasures then. Either do Shadow Moon right after Frostfire or vice versa if you're alliance. Uh, but uh, you might be able to just skip this, you know, don't have to fly all the way here and then so you can make it run route. So this is an easy way because you're, if you're wearing int cloth as a hunter or as a rogue even, that won't, be, won't matter if you're just uh, dropping down to open a chest and then you fly off again. So that was a really quick way for me to level through the whole Warlords of Draenor content. So usually I, I skipped Shadowmoon Valley and when I had opened, like here you see Nagrand, I had opened about half the treasures in Nagrand and then I was level 100. And then of course forget the potion, forget the treasures, you get a XP penalty in any Warlords of Draenor content. But um, the advantage is um, this is so quick. That is so, it is preferable to uh, when you are dinging level 98, continue doing this. Do this until you are level 100. Otherwise, if you're starting um, Legion of level 98, of course, you can do that too. If you are, want to um, do all the content in, in any way, like go through all the quests, then start at 98. But I had a weird experience where I was totally annihilated in the friendly duel at the beginning of the quest chain. I didn't want to skip it, so I like, get a nice ring, you know, the gear you get there. And I wasn't able to do the duel because my uh, I wasn't, I didn't have the gear. Yeah, so and when you're digging level 100 you also have the advantage that you probably from your alts can use some baleful tokens that are account bound so give your character instantly a jump to about item level 650 so that makes everything easier in, uh, in legion in, yeah in legion content than if you're beginning there yeah so this is a little trick you might not have been aware of to just breeze through Warlords of Draenor content easily. You know, I did this on several alts and some I just... Um, I did until my rest XP was done and then I switched to a different alt and used up the rest XP there and let them sit and did stuff on my main and some while later I had rest XP again. So that was very easy, level 90 to level 100 easy to do and as i said with the hunter dungeon finder was okay don't do this as a tank if you don't have optimum gear of course but you know one of three damage dealers i was doing quite, quite well i had the yeah the item level was really insane i got the engineered gun and i upgraded it to level three of six so i would add the um, looks to my gallery the cosmetics and all the transmog so i had was, was i was level 91 or 90 and had an item level 640 gun so that <laughs> that really helped compensate for the lack of agility stat yeah so i was actually a hunter in cloth gear in dungeons and was doing okay damage and with my rogue and yeah warlock too yeah okay that was that so if you like this, if uh, you think, oh yeah, that is something that makes things easier and less tedious. Uh, I don't have to wait for the queue, Dungeon Finder queue to pop all the time, you know, just fly around, just flying. It's also mentally easier, you know, not so exhausting like playing a dungeon. Just fly, pick up, fly there, pick up, fly there, pick up. Super easy. Saves energy, it's a lot lower energy activity that you can do for longer. Okay, so then um, have fun.
leveling. <laughs> if this is uh, your prefer preferred method now, and then uh, see you.